Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome back to the sandbox mode where today we're going to be making the final version of the dart using some mimics, and we're going to be messing around with a few ideas to create our carrier. That means we're going to be testing out things like the vehicle spawner, the vehicle holder, and all stuff like that to make sure the carrier works and is actually visually pleasing. I want the ships to be really on the deck of the carrier, and I want them to fly off at the enemy at the start of the fight. We we could just spawn them nearby, but there's no real fun in that, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, off-camera, I have been messing around with the darts quite a bit, as you can probably see, and now they are going at 160 meters per second rather than just 60. They are using custom jets, and they are somewhat fuel-hungry, but thankfully, with carriers, you can have the carrier hold fuel and then share it with all of the little fellows here, and that way they can constantly refuel during a fight, so that's not going to be an issue. Plus, it means then they are dependent on the carrier for their fuel, which I think is a really cool concept. So with that out of the way, let's get to work on the darts themselves. Also, I've just realised this fight is really showcasing just how badly craft will do if they're not specialised against small aircraft. So although this does have a little bit of flak, it is really struggling to damage these aircraft, and it's taking a lot of damage because of it. But if it does have specialised weapons, these things will just fall from the sky. In no way am I saying these craft are anywhere near the level of the crossbones, it's just a matter of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, there goes one. Oh, it might just be out of fuel. Might just be out of fuel. So as it stands right now, it's using 4,500 fuel per minute, which means it can actually stay in the air just over two minutes. I'm actually going to reduce this because, once again, I want them completely dependent on a carrier. I do not want these to be able to really do anything by themselves, at least in this current version. But first, let's go straight over to the Mimics. Now, after the last video, a lot of people suggested perhaps what was going on with the other craft were things like the rudders, which are a really good suggestion because these shapes here, I had no idea these were even here, and they do really look like the different wings on the other craft we saw. In fact, it could be these, but it's definitely using a Mimic. The reason is they had blocks inside of the plane. Inside of the wing, I should say, which means it has to be a Mimic which can then intersect everything else. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can make the back here look a bit more streamlined, and then I'll, I'll consider redoing the front. I actually don't mind it being this blocky, but the problem is, if we're going to have these next to each other on a carrier, they need to be a bit smaller than this. They're going to be a bit more stumpy. Okay, so right now we have this metal plate with a little bit moving up and down there. So we want it on level with the tail, and we want it to be... A little bit thicker as well, so it can actually hide everything else. About that, maybe? Let's try it at six. Okay. Yeah, that looks about right. That's the kind of thing which was going on. Now, that doesn't look particularly great by itself, but then you can have extra mimics at the back to make it look a bit more natural. So, I'll just be messing around with this for a little while until it looks interesting. So there's the first metal plate, then we're going to add a second one here, so it has a bit of a flat edge, and that's going to come across to here. Then we can start messing around with the final size of these things. At least that's the intention. So let's have a look at the original. Okay. I feel like when you get used to this, you can do these things really quickly, but right now, since I have no idea what I'm doing, it is taking a long time. Yeah, that looks really cool. And it makes it look, look more dart-like as well, so we do the same on the, on the opposite side. And we just remove some of these elevators, which will be fine. And there we have it. Now, thankfully as well, the mimics aren't actually physical except where the block is. So th this whole tail section here, only this mimic block is actually there. You can simply go through here, which means we can still have the wings look bigger than they actually are. So they'll look better, but they're actually smaller. That way they can be packed in next to each other nice and easily. Although we could just have one and then one behind it, one behind it, instead of having two at a time. It depends on how long we want the carrier versus just how stocky it's going to look. That looks so much cleaner than it did before, and I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> I like the more scrappy look, but 
yeah, that's really clean looking. And if we are going to call them the Dart or some variant, I've seen some really good names for it. So more name suggestions in the comments are always very welcome. I think adding a third one of these would really work out. So we do the same to the top here, just make it a bit more extreme. Also, how am I going to do this flat top? Oh, that'd be easy. We just have a more harsh angle here. Then we just add a flat metal piece here. And then one more of these on the end to keep the same look. That seems reasonable to me. Now, how big do I actually want the wings? Well, clearly we need the turret itself to still have its housing. But we could cut them all the way to here. And they're back. By the way, the undo button is the best thing ever added to From the Depths ever. Now that should, should, still be able to fly just fine. I have done some tests before, so we can have them really this small. Then just have a wing coming out, a fake wing, which goes to about here to make it look a bit more natural. The problem is, getting a Mimic on the end here will be a bit more difficult, so the end might look a bit unnatural. Actually, no, that'll be fine, because the Mimic, you can really get the fake look really far away. The... Positioning can be miles away from the actual Mimic, as you can see here. So that'll be fine, it'll just be a bit weird placing them all the way over here. So, still need way more practice of this. This took me ages just then, by the way, because I'm still learning. Okay, let's sort out the top, then we can sort out the wings. Okay, there's the first piece, then we add the second. And I'm actually tempted just to have it completely flat at the end for the top. Not too sure just yet. Okay, so this should be this done. I'm finding the actual Mimic position. There it is. Okay, now we could always have the Mimics hidden inside of the craft. As we saw earlier, you can place the object really far away. But if I lose a bit of the wing, I want the Mimic to be destroyed as well, so I quite easily see where the damage has been dealt. Otherwise, we might start circling around because a wing's been knocked off, but the fake wing's still there, so it's really hard to see where the damage has been done. Yeah, I actually really like that. So, opinions in the comments. The original version or something like this? I like this. I think. Okay, so I've made the front a little bit narrower, which I think looks way better. And this is how the front of the wing is going to look. The question is, how do we do the end here? I think we're going to have another slope here. And then the back, I might just add another rectangle but with the darker paint at the back as well. I think that'll look pretty good. Also, my stomach and throat has made some weird noises. I think that means they agree. So the wing's done, but I also did a little bit of testing with small missiles, just because, you know, it's me and missiles. And I think I've came up with missiles I am really, really happy with. These things are all about actually hitting the target. They're not particularly powerful. In fact, they only have one warhead, but... They do tend to hit the target most of the time, even against enemies which are being very agile and trying to dodge. They do hit the flying squirrel, they hit things like the spiral quite easily, and as you can see, they very quickly strip off all the wings and everything else, and now it's too damaged. The main pro with this is that it's really reliable, so pros, really reliable and requires no real detection system. The other weapons will eventually need some serious detection systems to work, but this comes at the cost of this being 5,000 materials. The old version with the simple weapons is just over 3,000, so it is significantly more expensive. Decided to make the missiles a bit stronger. Yep. So, now they are even shorter range and only last in the air a few seconds, but they have tripled the damage. I was also testing out frag versions. The frag do seem to do better, to be honest, at least in tests I've done, but I just like explosions. Yep, that is so deadly. I'll be honest, I've been testing this out way too much. Yet, yeah, they almost always have at least one missile hit. 
But again, this is way more expensive, and unless we can share ammo, which I think you might be able to with the carrier, it is going to run out of ammo way too fast, so killing one or two targets. So currently, what it's using is the active radar seeker. Now that needs to be changed. That needs to be changed to something like... Where are you? Actually, where are you? There we are, the remote guidance. This will use the mainframe, and whatever the mainframe is aiming at, the problem is... That's going to need processing power, which we don't really have the space for. Or we could use the lasers instead. Just this way, we can choose our target. Otherwise, what will happen is these will just go after the largest enemy target, which, of course, defeats the whole purpose of the craft. So that is something we need to change if we want to use this in the future. For now, though, I will go back to using the simple weapon version. Here we are, back in our normal cheap version. Lovely. So which version do you guys prefer, the missile variant or the simple weapons variant? There is a 2000 plus resource gap between them, but I personally prefer the simple weapons. I do love the missiles, I mean obviously I love missiles in this game, but there's something about the dogfights this thing has which I just find more visually appealing. Though I do think the missile variant is probably better versus other fighters than this one. And so, the wings are done. Now we can finally move on to putting these on some kind of runway and figuring out how we're going to release them into the wild. A few minutes later, I have made a huge metal slab and this is going to be our pretend carrier for the day. And maybe this will be the eventual size of the carrier we use. I'm actually tempted to make two types of carrier. One which only brings the darts and really only exists to, to spawn in more and more darts. And then a second, which is going to be our main carrier, which will also bring in the bombers and more advanced flyers. But for now, we have a slab of metal. Now on the slab of metal we have a series of tractor beams and some control blocks, which are really simple. All they say is if there is an enemy within 5,000 meters, release the dart. If there isn't, take it back. Simple as that. Now in the future the tractor beam will be way below the deck of the carrier itself, but for now we just have them here so I can see what's going on. I've also gave it a bit of an angle because I don't really trust this to not just plow right into the ground. Or metal. There we are. And then the enemy's dead. They all return. Good. Okay, so the reason why they're at such weird angles at the moment is purely because the tractor beam's are actually there and they really get in the way. I really underestimated how much of a problem that can be. They might need to be at a slight angle when they're finished, but we can always build up the metal so it looks like it's being held properly. That's no issue. That's something we can work on when we make the finished product. But that works just fine. But I think it'd be better if one... Then the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth were released like that. So what I'm going to do is set them all to have different altitudes. I think I'll have the lower one at the front, the higher one at the back. And then I'll set up a control block section for each of them. That way, when an enemy spawns, they will get released in order. It looks really nice and there's less chance of them just destroying each other. Which would be pretty darn lovely. Here's something else to note. Fail safes are... A little bit weird. A lot of the time they don't work as well as I would like them to, at least they didn't used to. Maybe they've got better in the past few years since I last played. But there is now a new option. Other construct setting. This is actually one thing I was really worried about. Are they just going to shoot each other as they pass each other even at different altitudes? But apparently now you can check for other owned constructs. And you can have a pretty severe margin of error here. So I think this is going to be okay. Well, this isn't actually a margin of error, it allows a margin of error because it's so severe. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay as long as it's somewhat accurate about this. 50 meters is a lot of space around where it's aiming, so I think they shouldn't shoot each other, but we'll find out soon enough. Also, I've just set up the first control blocks, which means now only the front one should go out. Yep, perfect. And now we'll set up two for each of them. It's probably an easier way to do this, but for now, we're going to go with what I can actually remember, which is very little. Oh, look, there is an enemy. One, two, and there we go. Lovely. I'm actually tempted to keep them with the same AI, because that looks really cool, like one following the other. And they will deviate naturally slightly as well, but no, I'll definitely have them with more severe differences in their AI. They'll stay at different ranges, they'll call off the attacks at different ranges, they'll try and get to different altitudes. Ultimately, there's no way they're going to hit each other midair. They might shoot each other still, you know, because it's fun apparently. But uh, they're definitely not going to just smack into each other. 
So one thing occurred to me, I don't actually need to give them all their own separate um, recall command, only release. So it's only one control block each. I'm just going to give this thing loads of fuel, which is plenty. Considering 10,000 can keep one of these in the air for over two minutes, 189,000 is a bit excessive already. That's how easy it is to make enough fuel for these things. That right there is excessive, just that. Oh. Okay, so what just happened was my recording software just crashed. I thought it was the game for a second, but nope, it was the recording software, so whoops-a-daisy there. So, just going to put them all on the same supply group, so now the fuel will be shared. I believe it's evenly by default, unless you start messing with all of these. I should also go for ammo. So, it's going to be hard to tell that, because currently the darts have enough ammo on themselves that they can constantly fire forever with the simple weapons they have just enough one ammo barrel less and they will eventually run out and then slow down their fire rate so that's something we can test out in the future but the looks of things we can share it just like fuel i don't know why i didn't think that was possible before i'm sure it was in the past now i'm really thinking about it but for some reason i had a bit of a mental so ignoring the fact that we're currently sinking to the bottom of the ocean this should now work as intended One, two, three, four, five, strawberry. Okay, so, yeah, that is working as intended. They're all following each other currently because they do have the same AI, which is really fun to watch, actually. Oh, I am so tempted to keep them the same. No, because they will occasionally do weird movements like that. That's because of their current speed. I've been messing around with that and seeing what's happening and... Yeah, the AI I've set up before with the little steam boilers doesn't deal with that extra speed particularly well. Still, they attack the target. The enemy eventually goes bye-bye. And then they should all return. I actually don't know why there was a delay there. We have one control block controlling all of the returns. There must be a reason for it. I just don't know what the reason is. You're not going to hit each other, are you? Maybe that's the reason, because because of the safe zone, if I can use my words there. The safe approach. Still, that's just magnificent. I absolutely love that. Okay, I'm going to give them more separate AIs. It's going to be hard to tell during a fight because of the random movements, but it will force them to try and stay far away from each other. The main difference will just be distance from the target they get before they try and do another strafing run, and then how close they will get during that strafing run before running away. That's the main difference. The altitude, I think, is going to be less of an issue, really. I absolutely love that, though. That was figured out way faster than I expected. And now if we look at our fuel... Yep, they all should have the same each. And then the same percentage as the carrier. Yep, perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so each of them now have their own AI and they have their own designation. So we have the regular, then B, C, D, E, and F. That just looks so silly firing before they're in the air. So the god mode is now off, which means they can hurt each other. What I'm hoping is we don't see any of that. There are also now repair tentacles underneath the cruiser top, so that we can heal them when they return. So far... Oh, yeah, I just saw one of them stop firing to allow the other one to pass. That's perfect. They do have different altitudes and different distances. As you can see, some of them go much further away now. Some of them get really close. Really, what would be safer is just have them circling the target, but it's just not as fun to watch. Yep, still going. Doing so little damage. I mean, we have actually done over 200,000 damage, to be fair, but... Yeah, obviously they're not against targets like this by default. Yep, still no damage. I mean, honestly, even if the fail safes aren't working, if this is the likelihood of them hurting each other being so low, then I don't really mind. We could also set up their AI so they do look in front of them as well. There are ways of doing that. But I just don't think it's necessary unless we feel way more than this. Okay, yep, I am more than happy with this result. 
Oh, once again, I just saw that one stop firing. Okay, yeah, so I don't think it's going to be perfect, because I don't think they're, go they're really going to be able to predict each other's movements. So occasionally, one of the shots will be fired, and by the time the other one changes course, it may be hit by that shot. But right now, there are five, sorry, six of them attacking, and absolutely no issues. Lovely, absolutely lovely. The enemy is destroyed, all still on full health, and then they shall return. And the fuel was being shared equally with all of them. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So that is that. Well, I was going to do more today, but this took way longer than I expected. So I think I will be calling the video here. Oh, one of them did take a little bit of damage. There was a heal then going on. You're still 100% though, so it may have simply taken a single bullet. Shell, bullet, potato. Either way though, that's not really a problem. There are healers all the way through, so only one of them took a single hit. We can make it safer, and we might do that, but that was a lovely and very, very positive first result. Also, I am loving how they now look. A bit generic, but you know what? I, don't, I just don't normally build small craft, so I'm happy with that. And my speech is going away. Clearly, I do need some sleep. So with that, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. Again, this took way longer than I first expected. Um, learning the mimics was surprisingly difficult for me. I'm not particularly good with styling things anyway, so a whole new system of that obviously took a while. So in the next video, I will be starting the aircraft carrier itself, at least the very first one, and I've got a question for you. Would it be better if the aircraft carrier was a ship or an airship similar to our missile cruiser? Now, I'm definitely not using our missile cruiser as the carrier as well. I'd like all the different crafts to be more specialized. So this is likely going to be quite a cheap craft because it is there more as a support for these things. It is going to have weapons, likely flares as well. It's probably going to have cram cannons or something. Something I can quite cheaply produce. Maybe a lot of simple weapons to help out these fellows, but that's going to be the main goal. And I may make a second version which will have bombers and such. Or perhaps in the next video I'll actually make the bomber itself. I'm not sure which order I want to do all these things since eventually they will all come together into one major craft. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. So yeah, answer the question. Should the carrier be an airship or a ship ship? Not a sub, though. Don't re really want to make a submarine carrier. It would be effective, but I just don't want to build one yet. Thank you, and goodbye. And now, sleep. <laughs>